Mm. Hey y'all, kind of a quick video today. It's not gonna be nothing crazy. I just wanna, you know, to come out here and talk to you guys about you know, maybe my dreams and ambitions and you know maybe some motivation for you guys too. So around the beginning of this year, I got married, or October actually, I got married to you know my wife Marissa. Um, I'm sure you guys, oh you haven't seen. I think I deleted all those old videos. Yeah, I deleted all those old videos. So you guys are gonna see her soon. You'll see her come out of this door in the very near future. <laughs> so, dang, it's kind of dark. Maybe I should turn the light on. Let me turn the light on. Better. I don't want to be chilling like that. Yeah, like that. Alright, so now we back. But yeah, you guys are gonna meet her soon. But where was I going with that? My motivation and the reasons I'm doing this, and maybe it's motivation for you guys as well. So she moved out here about early January, and she's been living out here ever since with me. And she's only went home a couple of times for you know being with her mom on Mother's Day or whatever. So um, it's been pretty much us for the longest now and just seeing how life is between the two of us being married, newly married, and <sighs> excuse me, coming from a long distance relationship, it wasn't always, you know, peaches and cream, if you know what I mean. We had a lot of problems, you know, around our second and third year being together, because we've been together for five years in July, actually. If you're not counting the marriage or if you're we're going by just being together in general been together for about five years in july so we've had a lot of ups and downs and crazy things between the two of us and it's honestly made us stronger but you know a lot of those things could have broken us if we let it broken us if we let it and you know we stuck through it and we toughed it out but um where i'm going with this is that you know, her coming out here and us expecting things to be so great and so happy and so perfect. You know, we both had like extreme high, extremely high expectations for what we're gonna do and we're gonna work out together. We're gonna eat good. We're gonna get on our grind, our fitness grind, and we're gonna have so much time to spend with each other. We're gonna do so much this, that, or whatever, and you know, be together and just happily ever after. You know, that's what at least that was the plan. That was the thought, and that was the dream, and. When she got out here, it was more or less like that because I had some leave and, you know, we had time to go out and do things and have fun. We got all our furniture. We furnished our house and everything. And, you know, we did so much and that uh, I think it was a week or so I had off because I put in leave for it. And it was cool. You know, it was good. And as time went on, though, we went to the gym together. We came home. We cooked together. We meal prepped. And, you know, we went to sleep and wash rinse repeat the next day because she didn't work in the beginning when she first got here and I did. And uh, the point I'm trying to make with this is that's all we did together was work, gym, eat, and meal prep together. And of course, we're having like our, our, our rough patches in throughout the time and we're fighting, and you know, especially in the beginning and trying to get used to each other and learn each other. We're still doing the same thing. But overall, we've just, you know, it, it came to a point where we realized that we're not getting enough time, you know. What the hell? <laughs> Creeper. But yeah, I'm over here having a serious moment and she comes in and, and goofballs it. <laughs> Chick, bro. She comes in here, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, we were just having a a rough time in the beginning, and it got to the point where we realized we just weren't spending enough time with each other. So as time goes on, we started to really narrow it down to work. You know, I work pretty much 12 hours a day, being in the military, not legitly, but go to work and be at work. I wake up for work at around five o'clock, right? I get out of the house and I leave the house at like 5.30. And this is if I don't go to the gym in the morning. I'm at work by like 6.15 so I could be there early enough, you know, get get information and whatnot. And I'm there from, to, from I'm there doing PT in the morning from 6.30 to 7.30. And 
Then after that, I come home, I gotta wash up, eat up and shower and be back at work at nine. So that's really quick. So that goes all the way up until 1700, five o'clock at the end of the day. And after that, if I didn't go to the gym in the morning, I'm going to the gym. If I'm, you know, cooking food, we're cooking food, meal prepping, and maybe we'll get to watch one show together or, you know, get into an argument that night and waste the night or whatever the case, whatever it is, man. But at the end of the day, like, it's so much time that work is taken away from me. It's taken away from my family. You know, I've tried and, you know, we've gotten used to it and we've made things better. But, you know, in the beginning, it was so hard to just have time for each other and spend time with each other and get to see each other, you know? And the military is pretty good about giving days off. At least over here at Fort Hood, they are. They're good at getting day giving days off, which is great. But, you know, it's just not enough for me. And it wasn't enough for her. It wasn't enough for us trying to build a solid foundational relationship. And, you know, it was just it was just a lot in the weekends where it's, it's like we legitimately only had Saturdays because on Fridays, I would get off kind of early. You know, we would probably just chill, play around for a little bit and, you know, watch a movie or something and, you know, just kick it with each other, maybe go out with friends or whatever. Saturdays, we'd have a good day. Hopefully we didn't fight on that day and that would make things good for us. You know, maybe it sounds like, I don't know about you guys' relationships, but when she first came out here, man, we fought a lot and we still do kind of fight, you know, every every so often here or there, something will make one of us mad and it'll ruin like a lot of the day for us. And we're getting better at not letting it ruin the whole day, but it's still, it's a grind. And, you know, we realized that we really only get to spend maybe one day and a couple of nights with each other, depending on how busy that day is and how packed it is. And we got to the point to where we realized like, man, we, we can't do this. Like we have to have a way out. There has to be a plan. We have to get out of this situation. This is bad. Like we're not we're spending enough time with each other. We're not focusing on the things that actually matter in our lives because she matters to me in my life. God matters to me in my life. You know, my friends and family matter to me in my life. This army stuff does not matter to me in my life. Yes, it's funding this house, it's funding, it's paying the bills, but at the end of the day, like, this is not what I want to do. I don't want to work to live my whole life to be here. I don't want to work my whole life neglecting the things like her, neglecting my family, not being able to see my friends or take my mom out on trips and take them out places and do things like that for them. Basically where I'm going with this is all the time that we've spent, you know, in these past couple of months fighting and worrying about seeing each other and hanging out, even though we live in the same house, worrying about all those things. It brought me to the point of realizing I need financial freedom. I need the freedom to be able to live how I want to live, wake up how I want to wake up, dress how I want to dress, shave how I want to shave, and just, sorry, that was a little aggression for something else. Maybe another story time another day. But I just want to be able to live my life how I want to live my life, and it's not going to happen unless I start putting in hours after work. And, you know, I first brought this up to her, and I could just, you know, you could just see it on her face, man. She was like, man, we already don't get enough time. And this boy over here trying to take the time away that we already have to put into something else and get away from me even more. And I just had to explain it to her. The life that we want to live, maybe the life that you want to live too. Maybe you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to sacrifice something in these early 20s that we have right now, that's what we're gonna have to sacrifice. So, you know, if it's not for YouTube, if it's not for this financial industry things I'm getting into, and if it's not for her baking or her, her whatever kind of business she's trying to do, like, it's honestly a waste of my time now. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing, you know, than finding a way for me to get out of this situation because I like the army, man. I love the army. I love the people. I love just be, I, I'm a people person. So getting around all these new people all the time is, is this, this is lit. But 12, man, 12 hour shifts a day. And then sometimes they can call you in on the weekends. Sometimes you got to stay all night over there because something happened and people got to find some kind of device or, or some kind of just something over there. Because so you got to stay there till like nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night when you already don't get to see your family. 
when you already don't get to spend the whole day with your family, when you already don't get to just have fun with people, your wife might work nights, so you don't get to see her much at all. You get home and go to sleep and she gets home and you're already asleep before she can even talk to you. Just, it got to a point where I realized I'm, I'm, I need more. This isn't enough for me. I can't just be sitting around allowing myself to be stuck in this situation and then being mad about it. That's stupid. Why would I be mad about coming to work if I'm not doing anything to get myself out of it, you know? At least that's how I see it and that's how I was raised. So that's my goal, get out of Dodge. And now how I'm gonna do that? So financial service industry, YouTube, and maybe maybe somewhere down the line I can get a sponsorship with some kind of fitness company and they could put me on some kind of some kind of way, shape, or form. I don't even know. I don't even know. But I'm about to just play all the cards I was dealt. I'm about to handle it the best that I can. I'm about to do what I can. I'm about to be the best version of myself and pray that God make it happen for me. So um, that's what I wanted to say. And I charge you guys with this. I charge you, you looking at me right now, you. Think about what you want in your life. Think about where you wanna be, maybe in the next two, three, five years. Think about what kind of lifestyle you want. And then have, ask yourself a serious question. Are you taking steps to make it happen? Or are you just living a dream? Are you actually working to get what you're trying to go for? Or are you just playing around with it? You know, you wanna be a rapper. Oh yeah, you just going out there and just making freestyles, spitting on some random beat, some random a beat you found on YouTube and posting it, which you know, that's that's a way. Or are you going online, looking how people make money, Googling how, how do I make money as an independent rapper? Or even how do I get signed to a label? How do I get a label's attention? Are you trying to, to uh, I don't know, work your way up in a car dealership and you're trying to sell cars. Are you online looking at people, trying to learn how to sell, Grant Cardone, some, anybody, anybody that sells, are you on there doing research how to be the best salesman you could be? And I hope you're not playing people. But are you doing that? Are you doing that? If you're not playing the cards you dealt, if you're not trying to stack and flip them things and figure out how to make it work, then stop complaining. You're killing yourself. Nobody's killing you. Society's not killing you. You're killing yourself. I said this on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, link in the description. Every excuse that you make is valid. 100% valid if you let it be. It's 100% valid if you let it be. So, Stop letting your excuses be valid. Stop acting like, you know, you can't push through this. Stop acting like you can't find a way to make it work. I waited till the end of the night, to the end of the night to make a YouTube video because I didn't know what the hell to record. I didn't know what the hell to do. But this is something that's, that's in my heart, that's real to me. So I'm gonna just say it. Even the camera quality gonna be bad, which is probably gonna be bad, but at the same time, I don't care, man. I, I just need to post some. I need to get in the habit of posting. I need to make this happen. I've quit YouTube a lot. I've got back on a lot and I've quit it a lot. I've deleted videos. I'm not doing any of that no more. I realize that what I want is gonna come from the work that I put in. That's the saying they say in the army. Drill Sergeant Carter, I will never forget this, man. Changed my life, honestly, the way that he talked. You get in what you put out. That's all he used to say during PT, you know, during during training or whatever we were doing. You get in, you get out what you put in. You get out what you put in. So if you put in 5,000 pounds worth of work, you're going to get out 5,000 pounds worth of something. If you put in hours of grinding, you're going to look like you grinded for hours. You're going to look like you put in the work. So stop playing around. Quit making excuses for yourself because if you keep doing that, then it's just gonna be valid and you're gonna just allow yourself to falter. And figure out what you're gonna do. Stop waiting, just start doing something, man. Waiting and sitting around and not thinking like me, that's what I did, that's what I did with YouTube. I just like, oh God, please help me find something to do. Please help me find something to do. I don't know what I can do. And yeah, I, for to a degree I didn't. But sitting around just 
the praying about it all the time didn't help me. Yes, God gave me opportunities, but still, man, like, you gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. Get up, do something. I dare you right now to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and then get up and do something with your life. Get up and make something happen. Whatever, it, whatever it is that you want to do, get up and just do something. Take a step. Take a step. Are you taking steps? Are you taking steps to get to where you want to be? That's the question I'm going to leave y'all with. Relentless Embers. All day, every day. The fire don't stop. We out.